So one of the things uh, that I didn't care for growing up was uh, meatloaf. Um, just wasn't a huge fan of it. It was okay. But you know when mom or grandma made meatloaf, it was uh, one of those things, kind of an afterthought, just something to put together, feed the family really quick and easy. Um, but you know what? Ever since I've got the old uh, Rectech 340 here, um, I've tried my own take on it on a smoked meatloaf with a barbecue glaze. Uh, so I figured I'd take you guys along with me. It's a super simple recipe. Um, so why don't we go in the kitchen, get some things started, and let's have some fun. All right, guys, welcome back into the kitchen. Uh, so these are all our ingredients right here. Um, and I'll just go through them really quickly. I will list uh, every one of these ingredients and how much uh, you need to put in uh, the actual meatloaf here. Uh, but first of all, we just got a, a pound and a quarter, pound and a half of ground beef and some country sausage. Um, so just to get you a big mixing bowl there where you can make sure uh, you've got plenty of room to incorporate everything. Um, you got your eggs, two eggs, your favorite rub, onion and garlic, onion powder, garlic powder, breadcrumbs, some barbecue sauce. And right here, this is just all the garlic powder, garlic, uh, excuse me, garlic powder, onion powder, rub, and breadcrumbs all combined together so I could uh, easily dump it in there. Uh, normally, I would be using a fresh onion here, but I don't have one, and I'm not going to the store just for a fresh onion. Um, so, yeah, here's all our ingredients. Uh, let's put this thing together, uh, see how it turns out, and then we can go from there. Smoke on. Alrighty, so we've got our meat mixed up here. Uh, now we're just uh, incorporating all our ingredients in together. Uh, again, this is about a pound and a quarter of ground beef and about a pound of country sausage. You could use ground pork if you wanted to as well. It's just what I had available. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do, we got two eggs. I'm going to crack these bad boys. Here's one. It's nice to have the uh, trash can here right beside me. And there's the second right in. What we're going to do next, we got a half cup of barbecue sauce. And I got a spoon right here to get all of it out. All right, that's pretty good. And last but not least, we got all our dry ingredients. And again, this is a half cup of breadcrumbs, tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of onion powder, and three tablespoons of your favorite barbecue rub. Uh, if you have it, I would recommend doing a, um, a regular raw onion. Um, I personally like caramelizing it a little bit and then putting it into it. Um, but I don't have that with me today. I'm not going to the store like I mentioned previously. Uh, so I'm gonna just use what I got and we're just gonna mix in this. And the reason we do, for those of you that don't do a lot of uh, meatloaf, and I'm gonna, as I'm mixing here, I'm gonna tell you, the reason we put uh, all of uh, the breadcrumb in is we need a binder, right? Um, so that's gonna act as a binder along with the egg um, to kind of form this. And what you wanna do is you wanna form this bad boy into a loaf. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Cue the speed up music, and uh, I will be get back with you guys here in a second once we put it on the rack. guys so I got this thing formed into a loaf here on the bowl over here so I'm gonna bring it over kind of shape it right here then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this thing in the refrigerator um, after we put a little rub on top of it we want it to sit up a little bit it's still really wet right now because the hamburger and, and the ground excuse me the sausage is a little bit warm so we want it to set up so it doesn't fall apart on us let's get this bad boy here there we go I'm coming I promise I'm coming all right so here's our loaf See, so we just want to form it just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means. I want to set it right here. And we just want to form it. Get it kind of uniform. There we go. Try to thin it out just a little bit on the sides. I want it to cook evenly. I don't want the sides to burn, which I have done that before. And just one thing I wanted to mention here is I wanted to mention to you guys that also I sprayed down this uh, this rack right here, and I've got just this, um, it's really a sheet you can buy directly from Rectech or any really grill, um, 
you know, grill accessory where you guys can just plop it right on so you don't have to worry about falling off the grates or anything. So, yeah, so I, I sprayed that with a little oil so it'll come off easily later on. But right there, I mean, that looks pretty sharp right there. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to take these gloves off. I'm going to get my fav favorite rub for this is just your regular meat church, um, uh, Holy Gospel. We're just going to go over the top of it. That's going to give us a nice crust. It's going to give us some good flavor as well. So we're just, and you can be absolutely liberal with this as much as you can. Try to get the sides. Alrighty, so we just did put the meatloaf on here a second ago. As you can see, set point, we got it at 325, uh, actually 320. Um, I've got the meter. Uh, probe in there as well. Uh, we're going to be looking for 150 degrees internal. Once we do that, um, I'll come out here and sauce it and bring it up to 165 to make sure it's done. Just a quick look. There she is. Yep, so we'll come and check on this thing. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be about an hour and a half or so. Uh, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. I think the whole thing takes, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours, somewhere in between there. So uh, when I'm back to sauce it, you guys will see it. Smoke on. All right, it's been about an hour and 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, we are now sitting at 150 degrees, so let's go ahead and open this thing up, get her sauced up. Oh, wow. Yep. It's a really nice color there. Let's go ahead and get her sauced up. Don't be shy with this whatsoever. All right, so I have just checked this. I've probed it just as the sun's going down here in North Carolina. Uh, it's a beauty. We're right at 165 degrees. Good looking there. And I'll make sure to show you guys this as well uh, once we get inside. I wanted to show you really quick here. Uh, perfectly at 165 degrees. Looks like we've got some good caramelization. So yeah, I'm gonna pull this thing off, get it inside, let it rest for a while, and I'll be back with you here in a bit. Smoke on. All right, so we have let this thing rest here for about 20 minutes or so, as you can see. Uh, it looks really, really good, uh, really juicy, you can tell in the middle. Uh, for those that like some of those dark, crunchy bits, you'll have those on the sides. Um, yeah, really happy with it. So why don't we go and get this thing sliced up? I'm gonna give a big old hunk right in the middle, uh, and uh, then we'll be able to come up here and eat. All righty, smoke on. All right, so here we go. So I got it laid out on the pan here. Just gonna make a nice, uh, easy cut down the middle. Then we're gonna slice these things into uh, some good sized chunks for us to eat some dinner tonight. As you can see, I just got just a really, really great, kind of almost like a bread knife, but I use this thing for brisket uh, and cutting meat uh, just like this. So let's just go down the middle and see what we can find here. Just wanna make a nice, easy cut. Oh man. There we go. And you can maybe see here. See all that juice that's just coming out. I'm not much of a meat squeezer, but uh, you can see all that juice that's just coming out of this thing. All right, let's just get a little slice here. So I'll make me a slice about, I don't know, two pencils thick. There we go, right there. All righty. So this thing is tender as can be. I mean, man, you can see here, just beautiful. So we're going to eat this thing up. We're going to have some leftovers for a few days. As always, uh, I'll come back here in a moment, give you my thoughts, and we'll go from there. Smoke on. All right, guys. So it's actually the next day. Uh, that meatloaf actually uh, wore me out, and um, I was asleep probably about an hour after I ate just because it was sitting on my stomach. It was so good. Um, really, really solid. I've done a couple of those. Still recommend the uh, actual fresh onions, uh, and I like caramelizing them a little bit, but the onion powder was great if you're in a bind or you don't feel like going to the store and don't have an onion. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, uh, comment, share with your friends, and as always, let me know if there's something you'd like to see me do in the video. Um, I should have a good one here on the bullseye coming up soon. Um, I'm looking at some tomahawk steaks, uh, so hopefully you guys are excited about that. Um, and once we have that, you'll be sure to uh, see it. And uh, hopefully you guys like that too. 
As always, guys, thank you again. Smoke on.